What is up you guys? This is Bite Into It with Boy Lauren Stay at Home Quarantine Edition. Now I know most of us have been at home in quarantine and pretty much everything outside is closed. So for those reasons, this video is going to be just a little bit different. Today I will be making my legendary apple blueberry pie. So if you have some fruit sitting on your kitchen table or in the refrigerator, you're gonna want to use that for this video today. So if you don't have apples or blueberries, that's fine. You can use peaches, bananas, strawberries, whatever fruit you have. But if you do have apples and blueberries, you definitely wanna use that. The good thing about this video is that not only will you get to walk through it with me, but you'll get to bite into it with me at the end. So I will see you all in the next clip. Here's a clip of everything we'll need for this video. Apples, blueberries, lemon juice, everything you see here. We are going to start with six clean apples and a pack of clean blueberries. The skin from the apples need to be removed. These apples need to be sliced as thinly as possible. Now this is just the way I sliced my apples. I am no fruit ninja master at all. You can use a potato pillar, I just used a knife because that's what I had on hand. And yes, all your apples must be cut up like this. Now that I sit back and watch, I see how dangerous my cutting skills are. I mean, I am just cutting this apple so ignorant. I know the knife community is just frowning upon me right now. Now that all those apples are cut up, we can add in our clean blueberries. I used an entire pack of blueberries, but that's just because I love blueberries that much. So you can go light or heavy, doesn't matter. We have to add 3 fourths cup of sugar. I have a 1 fourth measuring cup, so I have to do this 3 times. We are adding in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Don't you just love cinnamon? Well, we get to add in three-fourths teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Also, we need to add one-eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Who the hell has time to measure out one-eighth teaspoon? Just add a dash of nutmeg in there. Now we need 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. There are two pie crusts, one for the top layer and one for the bottom layer. We're going to take one of them and unravel it in our Pyrex dish. Now you may ask yourself, did I have to Google that word? Yes, I did. Obviously I had too much dip on my chip because I forgot to put the lemon juice in there before we started mixing up, you need one tablespoon of lemon juice. Now we can get in there and mix up our ingredients with our hands. Be kind of gentle because you want to keep your blueberries intact. After that is all good and mixed up, we can transfer all of our hard work into our pie dish. Pyrex dish with our pie crust in it, yeah. Be sure to lay your ingredients flat, so your top crust can be flat and even. Obviously, I don't value my fingers, but that's okay. Here's where you can get creative. You can do a variety of top crust. There's braided, honeycomb. I did kind of the lattice style, minus all the complicated parts. Just laid it across. Now we can pop this bad boy in the oven on 425 for 40 to 45 minutes. 
pie is looking crazy it's about to go brazy we about to bite into it in the next scene hey. look at this pie oh i'm so proud of us coming together let's just bite right into it mm. Mm. This is a nice way to get your fruit in for today. But this is a vegan recipe. The pie crust, there were no like animal product ingredients in it. Mm. This is high quality pie. Depending on what kind of pie crust you used and things like that, I think this is a vegan recipe. The one thing I recommend you do that I did not do in the video, pie, the thing you're putting the pie in the pan, spray that with some pound because my pie was kind of sticky, but it's cool. I got it together. Mm. The pie crust, it just literally falls apart. It's hot, it's fresh, it's good. Because of the blueberries, I think, make the pie so juicy, you're gonna notice that there's a lot of juice at the bottom of the pie, which I think kind of makes the crust soft, so it kind of falls apart. The juices of the apples and the blueberries kind of come together and make this delicious, delicious flavor that is so good. The thinner you make the apples, the better. I'm telling you. If you make your apples too thick, your pie is going to be like crunchy and you don't want that. You can really taste the cinnamon. And it's quick and it's easy. And I'm happy we got to bite into it together and do this together. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And I will see you in the next clip.